Welcome to the Virminda channel. Today's video is sponsored by aovostore.com that kindly sent this AOVO X9 Plus for a review. In the unboxing videos you will not see me riding or testing the scooter. The riding video will come up on the channel in about two weeks time. Now X9 comes in two different versions. Plus that has 36 or 10S battery pack and Max that has 48 volt or 13S battery pack. In this box there is the plus version with 10S 36 volt battery pack and without any further ado let's get it out of the box and see how it looks. As you can see the contents of the box are really simple you just have your electrical scooter, charger, screws to assemble your handlebars and the user manual, that's it. It's heavy, it's not too heavy, it's around 20 kilograms. Assembly of the scooter is really simple, you just remove the packing materials and install the handlebars with the six provided screws. As you can see the upper screw is countersunk and it has flat top and the bottom one has a round top and it's not countersunk from the bottom side. The flat head screws go to the sides of the handlebars and the rounded ones from the front of the handlebars. stock it is in, not in a zero start mode but if you press the on and menu buttons together and hold them you can enter the parameter menu p0 kilometers per hour versus mile per hour p1 is the cruise control on or off and p2 is the zero start mode the seller says scooter goes up to 40 kilometers per hour don't worry we will test that in the ride review video on the Slowest speed mode, the scooter shows 6 km per hour. On the drive mode, 15 km per hour. And on the red drive mode, 25 km per hour. I'm back after a little Google search. Hold both buttons, parameter menu. We go on P1. We hit the brakes and we press that button again. We are in the parameter P4. Now we hold the menu button and accelerate P4, 20, 25, 25, FF. So let's see if that worked. Turn the scooter back on. We have 36 kilometers per hour. How do I get 40? I will try to figure out if we can get to 40 kilometers per hour and I will let you know if I figure that out. The handles are made of really soft material and I like when they have this ergonomic pad for the longer rides, it's a really nice spot to rest your palms. There is an integrated bell ring here on the left brake handle. The LCD screen is fairly large and it's pretty simple to control. There is one button to change the speed modes and with double click to turn on the lights. And then there is on and off button. Pressing two buttons together you can enter the parameter menu. The headlight is integrated here on the steering bars and it's turned on by double click of the new button. It doesn't look 
special to me in any way. It's an LED headlight, it will produce some light, but design you cannot adjust the angle of it, neither left, right, nor up, down. So potentially it will work more as an indicator that you are coming than actual headlight that will produce the light or show you where you wanna go at night. Going down the scooter, first thing you're gonna need will be the folding mechanism. It's very simple to operate. You need to lift the security pin button i don't know and then you can open the latch when you open the latch this part will pop out and then you can fold the scooter it looks like you can adjust this part so if the folding mechanism becomes a little bit loose this should be a little bit adjustable when the handlebars go down you can press down on the fender and it will lock on this little hook and it will hold your handlebars in place so you can just carry your scooter away when you need to fold the scooter back up, you simply put it back in the upper position and then you close the latch. This is it. Nice and simple. For now, it looks really nice and sturdy. We'll see how long does that last. This part sticking out here at the front for me looks like, I don't know, the front of some ship. I'm not a big fan of this design in terms of looks, but you know, that's individual. I know some people that really like this design, so that's up to you to decide. What I like though is this incline because that's a really nice place to put your foot and have this, you know, platform to hold yourself against instead of holding against handlebars when you go over rough terrain or you're braking or something like that. The scooter has inflatable 10 inch by 2.7 inch pretty fat tire and also large diameter disc brake. Large diameter disc brakes normally mean effective braking. Again, we will try this out when we go for a ride. It's not a hydraulic disc brakes, but you shouldn't expect hydraulic disc brakes on a scooter of this price either. Instead of a sticker here, we have a plastic um, reflector, which is always nice. And here at the back of the scooter, you see exactly why this is nice, because stickers don't stay really well every single time everywhere. The rear is also 10 inch inflatable tire mounted on the motor. Now the motor, the seller says that nominal power is 500 watts and it can go up to 850 watts. So that's exciting, that's much more than on majority of the city electrical scooters for this price. So I expect pretty nice ride <clears throat> on these inflatable tires. Now there is no way for me to test that, but seller says that these inflatable tires are explosion proof. They have a extra thick rubber and also extra layer that protects from punctures. So I expect to have no punctures riding these inflatable tires. That would be really, really nice. The kickstand is mounted at the rear of the scooter. It's easy to operate. Normally kickstands that are in the front work better, but I don't see any problem with it, at least for the moment. On the rear fender, there is a little plate for you to mount to mount number plates if they are required in the place that you live. And also above right here, there is installed a little LED light. I had to turn a lot of lights off to actually be able to see those four little LEDs. Otherwise they are not that easy to see. You might have noticed these two shiny metal parts on top of the deck and you may be wondering why they are here. And that's actually one very cool innovation that not many electrical scooters have. So inside the deck there is 15.6 amp hour battery pack. It's a really big battery pack. It's twice as big as a standard Xiaomi M365. And you can open this deck. By the way, it has weather or water seal everywhere around. And you can just disconnect a couple of pins and take the entire battery pack out. It even has a handle for you to carry it around. So you can buy additional battery pack, bring it with you, leave it somewhere in the middle of the road if you need to cover really big distance. The seller claims scooter can cover up to 65 kilometers. In my personal opinion, it will be around 45-ish with my body weight and my riding conditions, but we will test that out. Now the battery itself is in a little metal box. It's a 10S battery pack. You can buy the max version of the scooter with 13S battery pack. On this vertical part here, there are dense foam pads that squeeze and hold the battery in place. 
and by the way right here there is also a charging port so you can charge that battery separately so if you leave your scooter somewhere in the basement or locked somewhere and you don't want to bring it home for charging you can bring only battery pack i like that there is this rubber strip all the way around meaning no water will get in here i also like that on the dashboard it's one large covered plastic so the water also won't get inside the dashboard meaning overall i think the water protection of the scooter looks really really well i would be completely comfortable to go and ride the scooter somewhere in the rain so all in all my first impressions about the scooter are very very positive i didn't notice any downside something not working or so on only have one sticker that's not sticking right and that's it nothing is scratched nothing is damaged and everything is working i might need to adjust the brakes a bit and and so on but that's a really tiny thing and it's pretty expected when you're getting a new electrical scooter for me the highlights of the scooter are of course the big replaceable battery pack and up to 800 watt powerful motor that can run the scooter up to 35 uh, the seller says 45 kilometers per hour i'm still working to figure out can we actually unlimited to make it run 45 but even if it goes 35 kilometers per hour it's plenty of speed for a city scooter the least favorite part for me from like the looks is this front nose sticking out on the scooter it's not a big deal it just looks a little bit weird for me and also the headlights and tail lights i think they are more indicative than actually providing some light I will test the scooter out in the dark and see maybe I am wrong, I don't know. All in all, I would say it's a strong 4.5 out of 5 for the scooter of this price, for a city scooter, at least from my first impressions. I will give you my first ride impressions in about a couple of weeks. If you want to see that video, you know what to do, you know where to find the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.